Hello, today we're going to be looking at lesson 10.2 day 2 on volume of prisms. In 10.2 day 1, we looked at the surface area of prisms. Today we're switching gears to volume. Our essential question is, how do you find the volume of prisms? We can find the volume of any prism, regardless of what shape the base is. So today we're going to look at three different types of prisms and how to calculate their volume. Before we get to the formulas, let's just review what volume is. Volume is the measure of how much space a solid object takes up. It's measured in cubic units like cubic centimeters, cubic feet, or cubic yards. Here's an example of what a cubic centimeter would be. It's one centimeter on all sides of that rectangular prism. So when we're calculating the volume, we're calculating how many cubic units that three-dimensional object occupies. To calculate the volume of any prism, you do the area of the base times the height. Remember that capital B is the area of the base. And depending on what shape your base is, that's going to tell you what formula you use to figure out capital B. To figure out the area of the base, you're going to need to use one of the formulas that we learned in 10.1. The height, just like with surface area, is the distance between the two bases. So let's look at this first example. It asks us to find the volume of the prism below, and you can see that the prism here has two trapezoidal bases. The front is a trapezoid, and the back is an identical trapezoid. Because the base is a trapezoid, we need to go and find the formula for the area of a trapezoid. Because to calculate the area of the base, we need to find the area of that trapezoid. If you go back to your notes from lesson 10.1, you'll find that the area of a trapezoid is calculated using the formula area equals B1 plus B2 times height divided by 2. And you can just drag and drop that formula from the side of your interactive notebook into this spot. Then to actually calculate the area of the trapezoid, you're going to need to do some work on scratch paper. Okay, there's not space for you to put your work in your interactive notebook. We're just going to put the final answer right here in this place. Um, but you'll want to have a sheet of scratch paper, especially when you're doing your homework. It's really hard to do all the calculations in your calculator. So I want to make sure that you're writing this down. And remember the bases of the trapezoids are the two sides that are parallel. You can see the parallel sides, they're even marked with those arrows. The arrows indicate that they're parallel. Now you can see that this one here is three. This one here doesn't have a number by it, but we know it's going to be identical to the trapezoid in the back, which is six kilometers that direction. So our bases, B1 and B2, are six and three. It doesn't matter which one you pick to be one and which one you pick to be two. I'm going to do the top one, the six, is B1, the bottom one, B2. Then we need the height of the trapezoid. Be careful, the height of the trapezoid is different from the height of the prism. Right now, we're not looking at the three-dimensional object. We are just looking at the trapezoid that I outlined in green. You can see that the trapezoid has a height of 3.7. That's the height of the trapezoid. And now we can stick those numbers into our area of a trapezoid formula. We need B1 plus B2, which is... 6 plus 3 times h, and h is 3.7, and then the whole thing's divided by 2. Simplify inside the parentheses first. 6 plus 3 is 9, so I'm just going to change that to a 9 here. And then you can take your calculator and do 9 times 3.7. 9 times 3.7 is 33.3. .3. And then divide that by 2. We wait to divide by 2 until the very end. Type that in your calculator and you'll end up with 16.65. Now I'm going to leave that answer exact. We don't want to do any rounding unless the directions say to. And with calculations, you never want to round until the very end. Capital B is not our answer. Our answer is going to be the volume. If we round too soon, we're going to lose accuracy. So leave everything exact until the very, very end. There we just found capital B, 16.65 kilometers squared.
Now remember the height of the prism. This isn't the height of the trapezoid anymore. Now we're going to volume. And when we calculate volume, we need the height of the prism. Well, the height of the prism is the distance between the two trapezoidal bases. So we need the distance of this edge right here. Now that one's not marked, but all of these are gonna be equal. So just find one of them that is marked and it's, it's 10 here. 10 is the H of the prism. So we have 10. And now for our volume calculation, we go back to the formula here. I'm gonna just write it over here so it's closer. Volume equals base times height, capital B, area of the base, which we had calculated to be 16.65. So capital B, I'm gonna stick in 16.65. The H is the height of the prism, and that's 10. And now you're going to multiply those numbers together. 16.65 times 10 is 166.5. So that right there is your final answer. Now I just realized right now there's a typo on this slide. I'm going to fix that in your interactive notebook. But volume is always units cubed. So this should not say kilometers squared. That should say kilometers cubed, cubic kilometers. That's how many cubic kilometers this shape would occupy.